Felicitas Mendez Felicitas Gomez Martinez de Mendez, 1916, April 12, 1998, was a Puerto Rican activist in the American Civil Rights Movement. In 1946, Mendez and her husband, Gonzalo Mendez, led an educational civil rights battle that changed California and set an important legal precedent for ending de jure segregation in the United States. Their landmark desegregation case known as Mendez v. Westminster, paved the way for meaningful integration and public school reform. Mendez, birth name, Felicitas Gomez, was born in the town of Juncos in Puerto Rico. The Gomez family moved from Puerto Rico. There they faced and were subject to, the discrimination which was then rampant throughout the United States. Felicitas and her siblings were racialized as black. In the 1940s, there were only two schools in Westminster, Hoover Elementary and 17th Street Elementary. Orange County schools were segregated and the Westminster School District was no exception. The district mandated separate campuses for school segregation in California Hispanics and whites. Mendez's three children Sylvia, Gonzalo Jr., and Jerome Mendez, attended Hoover Elementary, a two-room wooden shack in the middle of the city's Mexican neighborhood, along with the other Hispanics. Seventeenth Street Elementary which was a whites-only segregated school, was located about a mile away. Unlike Hoover, the 17th Street Elementary School was amongst a row of palm and pine trees and had a lawn lining the school's brick and concrete facade. Realizing that the 17th Street Elementary School provided better books and educational benefits, Mendez and her husband Gonzalo decided that they would like to have their children and nephews enrolled in there. Thus, in 1943, when her daughter Sylvia Mendez was only eight years old, she accompanied her aunt Sally Vidari, her brothers, and cousins to enroll at the 17th Street Elementary School. Her aunt was told by school officials that her children, who had light skin, would be permitted to enroll but that neither Sylvia Mendez nor her brothers would be allowed. Because they were dark-skinned and had a Hispanic surname.
Mrs. Vidari stormed out of the school with her children, niece, and nephews, and recounted her experience to her brother Gonzalo and her sister-in-law. Initially, Gonzalo received little support from the local Latino organizations, but finally, on March 2, 1945, he and four other Mexican-American fathers from the Gomez, Palomino, Estrada, and Ramirez families, filed a lawsuit in federal court in Los Angeles. Against four Orange County school districts, Westminster, Santa Ana, Garden Grove, and El Medina, now Eastern Orange. On behalf of about 5,000 Hispanic American schoolchildren. During the trial, the Westminster School Board insisted that there was a language issue. However their claim fell, apart when one of the children was asked to testify. She testified in a highly articulate English, thus demonstrating that, there was no language issue, because most of the Hispanic American children spoke English and had the same capacity for learning as their white counterparts. On February 18, 1946, Judge Paul J. McCormick ruled in favor of Mendez and his co-plaintiffs. However, the school district appealed. Several organizations joined the appellate case as amicus curiae, including the ACLU, American Jewish Congress, Japanese American Citizens League, and the NAACP which was represented by Thurgood Marshall. More than a year later, on April 14, 1947, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals affirmed, the District Court's ruling in favor of the Mexican families. After the ruling was upheld on appeal, then-Governor Earl Warren, moved to desegregate all public schools and other public spaces as well. Mendez's children were finally allowed to attend the 17th Street Elementary School, thus becoming one of the first Hispanics to attend an all-white school in California. However, the situation was not easy for their daughter, Sylvia. Her white peers called her names, and treated her poorly. She knew that she had to succeed after her parents fought for her to attend the school. Mendez v. Westminster, set a crucial precedent for ending segregation in the United States. Thurgood Marshall, who was later appointed a Supreme Court Justice in 1967, became the lead NAACP attorney in the 1954 Brown case. Marshall's amicus brief filed for Mendez, on behalf of the NAACP contained the arguments he would later use in the Brown case. The Mendez case also deeply influenced the thinking of the California governor at the time, Earl Warren. 
This proved to be critical because eight years later in 1954, when the Brown case reached the U.S. Supreme Court, Earl Warren was its presiding member as the Chief Justice. And Thurgood Marshall argued the case before him. Gonzalo Mendez died in 1964 at the age of 51, unaware of the enormous long-term impact that Mendez v. Westminster would ultimately have on the U.S. On Sunday, April 12, 1998, Felicitas Mendez died of heart failure at her daughter's home in Fullerton, Legacy, California. She was buried at Rose Hills Memorial Park in Whittier, California. She is survived by four sons, Victor, Gonzalo, Jerome, and Philip, two daughters, Sylvia Mendez and Sandra Duran, 21 grandchildren and 13 great-grandchildren. The success of the Mendez v. Westminster case made California the first state in the nation to end segregation in school. This paved the way for the better-known Brown v. Board of Education seven years later, which would bring an end to school segregation in the entire country. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Footprints for more videos.